Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Travel Forge. It's not freaking raining for once. It's so muddy at both of our houses. Um, like we haven't been able to do certain things because it's so muddy. Um, yesterday we were able to park some track trucks and trailers at the local firehouse um, because like we couldn't park them in our yard because it was so muddy. So yesterday we had 22 people in total between this house and the other house, which was amazing. We had assembly lines going, we filled four trailers. We took four trucks and trailers up there. Um, the Colbertsons met us up there. So we had 18 people here. We had 22 by the time we got there. Um, we got a serious amount of stuff done yesterday with all that help. So the top shop where my glow forge is, um, Bud's Cricket, things like that, that's all packed up. The only thing that needs to come out of there is the furniture and the glow forge itself. Um, Zad's shop, which I'll show you here in a second, is in the bottom of the barn. Um, it's pretty well all packed up. Most of it is actually already at the other house. Um, we have a few things to throw in today. We're going to be getting um, the stuff that's out of the other side of the top shop. So this side right here is where my shop is. The other side just has some storage of some of Zad's stuff. We're accumulating quite a nice pile for a dumpster. We could probably fill another dumpster at this point, and then I'm certain we could probably fill another one later. I'm guessing we'll have had three dumpsters by the time we're done with this. Um, if you were following along on Facebook, you know that the 26 foot trailer that we filled the other day, the electric brakes didn't work. So we had loaded that 26 foot trailer. We had all that help. We got it all loaded up. And then we got to the Mount Joy exit, which if you're local, you probably know where that is. If you're not local, um, it's probably 30 minutes from here. We got there and the electric brakes were not working. Flashing, no brakes, whatever on the brake controller. So we had to turn around. We drove 35 miles an hour back. It was like four in the morning. It was so ridiculous. So anyway, so the next day we took it down to the rental place. They swapped us for a 16 foot horse trailer which whatever, it works. But of course they charge me for the 26 foot trailer. So I'll be working on dealing with that tomorrow to get a refund on that mess, whatever. So we have that, we got that all resolved. Um, yesterday when I had, when I had all that help, um, we got the mower shed, the garden shed, and the pool shed and the tiki hut all packed up. So they pretty much just need to be loaded onto the trailer. So. The plan for today is to load the enclosed trailer that I'm pulling with the stuff from the top shop and the stuff from these sheds. I'm thinking that's probably going to fill it. Um, we have the horse trailer. So the horse trailer, we may wind up putting some furniture on or just some outside stuff. We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I feel like I've said this a hundred times. Gosh, I feel like we're maybe going to be done soon. I don't even know. We do have a plan for this week. Um, we'll be making a few trips up this week. We'll have a couple work days at the other house because we need to finish prepping that spot for the goats. Um, I'll show you where that is when we get up there. Um, I did start a video on that process, but we're not quite done with it. But nonetheless, that green building that's up there that I've showed you before is going to temporarily house the goats until our goat shed can get up there. It has to be hauled by a shed hauler because it's 10 feet wide and we can't haul it ourselves an oversized load that can't happen until the end of april because that's when the shed hauler is available so we're going to spend a day up there this week get the chicken area prepped thankfully that chicken coop that was on the property is pretty much ready to go so we just need to do a little prepping for the goats and we need to put the fences up for both of them we're hoping to get the animals up this week i know a lot of people are looking forward to us wrangling chickens i'm sure it's going to be entertaining um this mud is just unreal and i i was watching Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead this morning and they're have, they're doing a project where they're digging out their basement and sealing it and all that because it's a really wet basement and she, she showed her yard and it is completely mud um, and I relate to that so hard right now because oh my gosh everywhere is mud. So um, Zad's mom's going to come over today. She's going to help us um, you know with the little so that we can just work on getting this stuff done. Um, I'm hoping that by the end of this week, maybe, I know I said this last week, hoping by the end of this week that we'll be living at the other house, the animals will be there with us, um, and we'll just have super minimal stuff in this house. We're thinking we're going to leave our mattress, not take the bed, but leave the mattress. So we'll have um, a mattress here at least. We might 
maybe leave the recliner in the office chair so that we have something to sit on while we're here. Um, I mean, it's been super primitive here. We have like one big spoon, a pot, like our favorite cast iron skillet, um, and then our paper wear that my mom supplied us with. She has like a cabinet that she keeps all the leftovers from holidays and whatever. So she's been keeping us well stocked on that. I am typically not a fan of throwaway stuff, but in this mess, I mean, I don't have time to do dishes for forever. So we are pretty much just doing the dishes that we have to do in order to cook. Um, the good thing is we're always well stocked on food. So we are eating well at both houses, no matter where we are, which is good because if we weren't eating well and we weren't getting decent sleep, I don't think we'd be able to continue on doing this. So I'm wearing my favorite shirt today, powered by ADHD and coffee. This is my anthem for this move, I feel like. Um, so I know you're all anxiously waiting for the animal wrangling videos that's coming, I'm hoping this week. And thanks as always for following along. We'll see you guys next time.